Hey, good to see you. This is Nail or Fail, a brand new segment that is going to be brought to you by one of our directors, Rachel. She loves to go on YouTube and check out tutorials on how to do different crafts, maybe put together different recipes. She tries to replicate what she sees and we don't know if it's going to be a nail or fail in her success. But we're going to kick off with our gingerbread house. Yes, uh, the rules are very simple. I have a gingerbread house kit. Rachel has the same one and we get to uh, do a gingerbread house and see who is better. So Rachel, what else are we looking for here? That is right, Walichka. We start off with the exact same kit, but how we decide to decorate our house as well, that is completely up to you and to me. So may the best house win. The very nature of whenever I do something, it has to be a little off the wall. It can't be standard. So I went to the dollar store and bought some wrestling action figures. I got Roman Reigns, I got The Undertaker, and I got Brock Lesnar. The three guys are in a triple threat match. The action spilled out of the ring and they found a nearby home. I have been mulling this over all week. How am I going to outwit the Wilichka? I think I'm going to do a haunted gingerbread house. Like it's being built on haunted land. <laughs> it's not coming out of the spout. It's not coming out of the spout here. This is way too watery. That's supposed to be chunky. That's okay. Look at, I, I made soup, Matt. I made soup. I really hope Bill's having a better time with this than I am. Sharon, can you come here for a second? <laughs> but I think I'm gonna go to plan B and get the pre-made icing out. <laughs> I think I'm okay now. So glue together? Hope so. Oh my God, Christmas is so hard. Look, it's staying. And they're gonna be digging in, right? Because they're building a house. Well, you know what? Because it's a triple threat match and the wrestlers obviously went crazy fighting each other, the house was destroyed. Every time I see green and red, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Nightmare on Elm Street with Freddy Krueger and the red and green striped uh, sweater. Remember when I was in the wrestling ring when I was a pro wrestler one time and uh, my opponent, bad guy CJ Felony, smashed me in the head with a, with a garbage can, remember that? Well, I found a little mini garbage can here. The Undertaker has the garbage can here. He's using this as a foreign object in the wrestling ring. Nope. <laughs> you know, when I think of Christmas, I think of jujubes. So I'm going to do an entire wall of jelly beans, make it look like shingles. Uh, I picked up a couple of prunes. You need prunes to stay regular. We've got zombies. I mean, we can't just use any old snow. But it's a uh, mushroom, toasted onion, and beef soup mix. I think we have to have raining blood. Okay, I think I am done. Ta-da! Um, I got my bodies over here. I gotta meet Rachel in the studio with my creation. All right, so I'm gonna clean up my mess and I'm gonna go meet the Walichka in the studio. Okay, well I'd say uh, on, a, on a scale of one to 10 for creativity. So this, this is probably, this is an eight. Um, because, you know, you decided to not actually build a gingerbread house, <coughs> as per the instructions. And this is, I think this is a nine in terms of creativity, just because it's got a prune, which I've never seen used before. And honestly, the use, the use of onion or soup mix of whatever type is also very creative. In terms of a holiday cheer, even though this one has zombies in it, it's probably, uh, it, it takes the cake, I think it's about a, a six, and, and this, but unfortunately this is a four. Uh, for overall edibility, I, I'm, I'm going to give this this a two and this a two as well. So you're tied in terms of ed edibility. O overall impression, and I'm loath to give anything above a zero for either. I believe Rachel's has probably got a one, <clears throat> and uh, you can have a point five. <laughs> so do the math. I'm not adding it up for you.